Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to the Venetio Coaster Daytime here on Let's Play Dark Chronicle, folks. Uh, I am the Black Shadow and uh, I've just returned uh, from the train. I just went figured I'd go and do it off screen. Uh, yes, of course, plenty of stuff we can take pictures of here. Uh, I just went off screen, folks, um, and I just uh, went to the train uh, as I figured I might as well do so. And went and did some bits and pieces off screen that uh, I, I kind of forgot to do. Uh, mainly going to uh, Cedric, folks. I went to him off sc um, back. Obviously, now that we've started Chapter 4, folks, some interesting developments in the train. Uh, if you go to Julia's armband shop, you can now actually buy crystal brassards from her. Emma Lane sells Shamshears, both really decent weapons, folks. If you haven't got to that stage yet at this point in the game, certainly look at investing in those. They are that, to have crystal armbands at this point in the game, that's pretty good. Uh, so that's nice. Um, Cedric's, uh, his shop had certainly expanded as well. I've got a few new bits and pieces. Um, I went and got the Royal Foot as well um, because, um, well, you know, there wasn't anything else that I could actually get uh, for the ride pods. So I've now got the Royal Foot, so the Iron Legs. Um, he was also, um, the you see in the back there, folks, we've got like this um, this improved energy barrel pack that we, um, we, we made. Uh, I think that was hiding in uh, Max's room back in uh, Palm Brinks. If you haven't actually invented and made it by now, um, he also sells those as well, does Cedric, for like 600 experience. Ain't too bad. But, really interesting. If you come up here, folks, he is also selling... We've also got the already got the barrel cannon, which I haven't reused really much on the screen. Brand new weapon, folks. One of my favourites, the Samurai Arms. You can now actually buy this. This is an awesome little weapon, this. These are really cool. Uh, 1.5 attack, 50 lightning, 50 beast, 50 scale. Obviously a little bit different to the cannibal arm, which has just loads of smash. But for the time being, considering the type of enemy that we're taking on, that is a seriously good weapon for this um, for this area, folks. Uh, obviously against like armoured enemies won't do much. But, you know, generally speaking, I think we'll be okay. Um, unless we go against something really d difficult to take on. I can always switch up weaponry. But, um, yeah, we are going to be Samurai Warriors uh, for this next part of the game, folks. Wool Steve. That is a really cool weapon. Um, really good. So that's lovely. Um, but, yeah, you can actually get to see um, Venetio for the first time. As is, folks. So uh, we will be playing around here a little bit. The Georama here is... Uh, a little interesting to say the least. It's a bit creative, but I'm sure we'll be alright. Alright, anyway, so we'll mosey onwards uh, back to uh, the cave, which I'm just gonna do this just to be a bit quicker. To save, what, about five seconds, if that? Never mind. Can't believe Julia is selling crystal armbands. It's only about like 750 Gilder as well. That's nothing. Really good. But anyways, folks, we'll move on to the next floor. Tank and boss. And you see the blue seal means uh, Max gets the uh, the joys of doing this alone. No moniker, which just kind of sucks, basically. But I suppose that makes me feel a little bit better. Geostone immediately, if I could actually try and pick the damn thing up. So, let us explore, then. Looks like our gate's going to be large in sort of the centre-ish of the map, at least not the starting, so... That's my first uh, suggestion. What is that? Beach Rats! The, um, the evolution of our um, actual normal rat, folks. Uh, the beach rat, yes, he is wearing underpants. That is a line you may not hear me say very often, but he is wearing underpants. Evolution, I don't quite know. Captain, uh, another type of the... Um, of these um, skeleton guys. Um, these ones aren't so fun. They are um, a lot more uh, powerful. Maximilian Punt there. Uh, 
There we go. And unfortunately, Max's weaponry not particularly suited uh, to taking those guys on. But we'll have to manage, obviously, with no Monica. I could use the Seal Breaker to get rid of that, but I don't really want to. Oh, I don't. They're quite expensive, and. There's a couple, and towards the end I might use it for, but at this point of the game, I don't think it's that necessary. We'll just have to struggle through. If that's really annoying. Hey! Get back here, you! Throws at your face! Yeah, how do you like that, sir? Not very much? I didn't think so. And I somehow hit him on the swing as well. Hell, these are speedy little guys, aren't they? There we go. That'll do. They are speedy little combatants. <laughs> Wonder. Well, they're quite useful, except when they size it like that, but it's just because of the, the fact they've got quite a high attack. It does make it quite useful. Got a little cap on. Why? An anger. Oh. What? I don't know. If I did, I would tell you, but I do not. Simple as that. We got a map at least, which is handy. Oh, there's our end game. I can't tell. Is, is it are they underpants? I, 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 why am I getting drawn into this conversation? What do I care? Uh, I prefer the ABS, but. It's Saturday night, folks, and I think their party has just been spoiled by the sound of things. Of all those. Has that guy got a ponytail? A beard? Look at this guy. Look at that Even the gun's not that big. Quite easy. Of course, the weapon's got quite high exorcism stats. That helps. Uh, oh yeah, all the all the stuff that I um we got levels for weaponry wise um in the last year, I basically just put a load of scale stats onto all of our weapons at the moment, just to help with obviously uh, there's a lot of that sort of type of enemy here. So okay, there's no real rush in upgrading the weaponry as such. It's probably a little bit ahead of where it should be anyway. So. I don't mind spending uh, a level or two, just um, making them more suitable for the local area. I'm alright with that. Whoa! Bloody hell, that gave me a bit of a fright. I forgot about you! Bloody guy. Which shall it be? Uh, I'm gonna go... Redbox. Oh, really? Oh, that kind of sucks, folks. Another type of club, folks. The Turkey Club. Now, this club um, is idea basically for short distances, that kind of thing, which is all well and good, except I did kind of buy one already. Yeah, that's kind of that. That kind of sucks. Really? That... Damn it! That's, that's annoying. Never mind, I'll have to sell it later on. That's annoying, yeah. I bought that as well when I was in the train. Um, I, think, it, I think Gerald had that, actually. I can't remember. Yeah. That's not, it's not even that effective. Oh. Max's weaponry really not suited for taking on the Captain. The Captain Crunch has just become Captain Crunched. What is that? 
Is that artillery? Pirate tank. Max, get out our new and improved Steve. Goodbye. Giant samurai blades for the win. You two. Ta ta for now. Yeah, folks. Rollerblades, certainly a bit faster than what we did have. And these are cool. They are just really awesome. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's, that's handy, I guess. But yeah, it does make getting around a bit faster, um, having stuff like this. It certainly is, it is. I think it's a little bit, it might be about the same speed. It might be slightly faster than, um, than being on foot. Um, there are some things of transport that you can get for um, the iPod which are faster than uh, actual running around. So, um, you know, you, you might find yourself using it sometimes just to get around a bit. But, uh, well, it can go. Hold on, you can't slide down steps on rollerblades. You know how dangerous that is. You could fall over and, like, break your. Well, not legs, then. I don't know what they are. Hurt yourself. We wouldn't want that, would we, folks? These guys. Even that's not that effective. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Come on, Rolling logs. We'll start giving these to these rats that can stop using them, maybe. Regenerate. Oh, there's a heart from cherry. That's nice, I guess. Corsair. It's a cool name, actually, for um, what, a, what a weak enemy, unfortunately. Not that great. They're quite fast. Alright, that takes care but of I'm going to be honest, they're not exactly instilling the fear of God into me. There goes our blue seal, which is nice. Again, you know, I am. I might be tempted to use the seals on like um, any white seal levels. I might be tempted to. But, uh, kind of depends, really. I mean, if we're doing it and if things like start going really bad, I might just break the seal early and do it that way. But they say that you know, 900 gil to reach. They're quite expensive. I know I've got like 40 gram, but that's because I've done lots of replaying of levels to get hold of all the sphere to and that kind of things early on, so I've ended up with a lot of money, but you know, that's 900 guild, not everyone can afford, no, I'm in quite a fortunate position really at this point. But I could just buy a load of those, but I'm not going to. It doesn't really, it doesn't really teach you anything. Oh, I didn't even realise that was a goal. I didn't even look. Well, go me, I suppose. Monica's magic. So what on have we had then? No, that's not going to happen. Using the Rye Pod, I could probably do that, actually. Uh, Monica's magic. We could have a crack at it, folks. You know, I, I, don't, I don't mind. I've got no problem with um, giving them a try. Kind of depends a bit on what we run into, of course. But uh, well, we won't know until we come down here and we start um, kicking ass and taking names. So we'll give it a try. But again, I can't believe get crystal facade and actually buy them at this point. Especially, it's so easy to forget to use the bangle. Not justifying don't use the bangle until you get to the ocean of the cave. But if you don't use it much, then you know that that does help and make it makes a massive difference. I wonder. That's not as effective as I would like. That's, um, that's right. Just hit it in the face. How dare you hit me! You don't want Angry Monica again. Angry Monica is scary, Monica. You don't want that. Bloody hell, look at this area here. Can I hit it? Oh, I hit it as it came down. That was quite cool. The one thing I do like about the um, the third attack of these, how you can you can do that, it's quite useful for enemies that are in the air because you do get a bit of height on it actually. 
So you can try and click them, and then if you do, you, of course, you have the possibility of stunning them. Which is quite nice. Oh, there's our. Oh, you see that again? Another um, open area. Hold on. Can I? Can I? Can I? No. Yes. 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 Get in there. There we are. Well, he took the hit, but never mind. We got him. That's the main thing. Ooh, what's that up there? Ah, oh, you see it. You see up here, folks. You see again how there's like um, there's a uh, entrance exit down here, and there's one up top as well. So it does happen. It's not always that you you find that, but it's. It does happen sometimes. Ugh. Went for the swing. Ugh. It takes so long using up magic. I, I I could probably do with strip boosting magic up power a bit. Give put on some uh, some attack pluses onto it actually. Might be an idea. Try and finish up the beach rat first. Ugh. Come on, you! I dare you! Ow! I didn't. I didn't mean actually try it. It was a figure of speech, sir. Ugh. Terrible, isn't it? Right. Okay. But well, we'll move on. We'll mosey up northwards on the beach. Of course, not need to worry about getting back anymore. But should really use Maximus, really. He's more, he's more suited for this kind of thing. Much more suited for this sort of thing. Bloody heck. Especially this guy. Is, of course, his big weakness the fact he's very slow. But he seems to guard everything. Which is really annoying. Look at the experience here. I mean, look at that racer. That's uh, that's nice. Oops, wrong button. I don't know what I was pressing the shoulder buttons for there, to be honest. But for whatever reason, I didn't press the right one. Ah, that's where it was. I'm wondering where that had gone. Oh, well, thanks, game. That's nice of you. Oh wow, that's not bad. That is, uh, that's surprisingly effective. Pick up another Geostone. We don't even know what we, what exactly we're going to be doing with any of this, folks, but... What is this? What? What the hell do you call this? That is... Game! That is not right. I don't believe it. And there I was saying, oh look, there's sometimes you get a second entrance so you can get in one way and out the other. No, that's the straight dead end! There's been a cave in. <laughs> oh, game, what's up with that? Don't believe it. Never mind. Well, the point is that you can have two entrances and exits on these beaches. Just, I, I don't know what the game's trying to prove there. That's a bit ridiculous. Never mind. Anyways, we'll have to go about things the long way. I wonder how effective would Steve be against these with the um, the swords? That ain't that bad? Ow. That ain't that bad, folks. That's, um... That's pretty decent. Kill it! It's not even fair, but I couldn't really... I don't matter. It doesn't matter to me. Just obliterate the darn thing. I gotta get me some swords like that, folks. That'd be so awesome. I might not be able to pick it off the ground, but I wouldn't really care if I've got them. Ah, new element, folks. Aqua elements. So we've had thunder, we've had all variety of bits and pieces, and there is a water element. Just to keep things interesting. 
If it does uh, shoot the magic at you folks, I'll show you what element will come up off of it. If it wants to shoot magic at me. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Be like that. Never mind. Know what I was trying to show you? You know what I was trying to show you, but um, because like, there isn't an actual water element magic, it, it, it fires water elemental magic of sorts. But of course, you can only do fire, ice, lightning, or um, or wind. That's the one. Or wind. So I didn't know which one to be. It probably be ice element. I I believe because ice. Imagine it'd probably be that. Oh, Mimics! Oh, you guys are back now. You're in town. You should have come back from wh whence you came. Looks pretty busy down there on the, on the right of the map as well. More bats. Oh, you're coming down to my level now. That's That's the biggest mistake you ever made. Come down to my level. Ooh, thank you for that. Items galore. Warmest. These guys, they just don't know when to quit, mimics. That's the one thing I have learned in RPG games, folks, is that chest mimic chests just never know when to quit. They keep trying, but they just never learn. Here we go. It is Ice Elements. There you go. Proof. Ice element. Woo! Nearly got it. Oh dear. Oh, that was a little bit stupid, Matt, wasn't it? Try and desperately just take it out. Ow! That hurts a lot. Again, yeah, Monica not really suited for battle here. Nor is that freaking rat going to be any bloody good. Oh, that's not right. This is... This... I'm going to say it right now. Question shooter is going to just annihilate this. Oh, no. I'm surprised it was... I thought it'd be more effective than that. That does surprise me. I thought it was going to, like, being that it's firing electric stuff. I thought it would just absolutely annihilate it, but no. That surprises me. Oh, well. Gunpowder. Ooh, some bread. Need to start equipping these on to people as well, to be honest. I keep forgetting. There we go. But again, the, and the sword is also surprisingly not very effective against that either. Bombs. Well, I'm sorry I can find a use for those later in the game. Bombs do have uses in amongst with, uh, like, um, creating stuff and inventions and that sort of thing. Some of the stuff that I want to get hold of very late on will probably need a bomb or two, actually, as well, so... I will happily keep an, I'll happily keep all of those. Me speaking of bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Have that! Have some of that. Looks like we got them all. I thought that might be rather effective. <laughs> right. Put in our lunar stone. And continue forwards. Because there's not really much else we can do at the moment. We're still looking for this Shingala thing. And who knows where it is? It could be anywhere. Medusa. Uh, I'm sure you guys know the tale of Medusa. 
this could start getting a bit bad. Um, Monica, I'm changing your equipment a bit. I'm taking off the... Um... Oh dear, only Curse and Goo. You might need one or two of these before going down this route. You may need one or two. Right. Be a bit careful here, I think, because I've not really... Oh dear. No, I'm, I'm going down there later, I think. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about taking on those... Oh no, there's another one. Folks... We're going to be a little bit careful here. I've not really come prepared for this. Just be a little bit cautious and a bit of striking quickly. Auntie Medusa. We have to be very careful that she doesn't try playing games with us. Oh, look at her. She's hideous. She's hideous. What is that? My goodness me, Auntie Medusa has eaten a couple too many pork pies. That'd be one of the more hideous things I ever saw. And, whoa, bloody hell. Look at that! Crumbs. Whoa, don't get hit by that, folks. Because that will attempt to petrify you. Oh dear, really don't get hit by that. It's going to be a bit of hitting and running, I think, this mission. This level, this, this whatever, this... Ooh! A fax! Nice! Another absorption coin. There we go, add that to the pile. These maps are a lot bigger than I remember them being. What is... Oh, great. Spider ladies. New ones. Just what I always wanted. Goodness me. Not pretty. I have a, better f I have a funny feeling they're going to cause a status effect or two as well. Should have brought Dr. Dell down with me. That might have been an idea. But oh well, we will have to make do. Just not get involved and just try and keep us the single combat. Um, if I had remembered, I'd have got hold of some of the um, the, uh, the the armbands that um, Ben Rosa sells. There's like an anti-petrify one, just like the anti-poison one we've got on the moment. Same sort of thing. Um, there's one for all these status ailments, really. Well, I just hadn't got around to getting some anti-petrify ones. So I'm gonna have. I might well consider doing that off-screen because petrify is not a fun status ailment at all. Goo, poison. You know, I can I can work with those, but petrification obviously complete and utter stop. So uh, that is uh, potentially a very, very, de um, very, very uh, bad status effect to have to deal with. The trick is to not get drawn into fighting other things if they're around, because I think there's one behind that rock. And that's what would happen, folks, is you'd be fighting something or another, and then suddenly a, a shot comes by, you don't know it's coming, get hit, BAM! Straight into stone. That's what you're gonna have to avoid here. Because I'm gonna be real honest and say that if you're busy fighting something, you're probably not gonna be hearing or paying any attention if uh, if one of those shots start coming by your way and they start attacking, you ain't gonna hear it. And odds are you're gonna get nailed. That's wrong, Shadow. You want the next one! Turn left at Junction 26. Ha! 
<laughs> what are you doing? How dare you attack? You're gonna attack me with your little star. I have a sword, for goodness sakes. It's a bit more potent a weapon. Man. Yay, even more sticky clay to add to the collection. Durability Street, here we come. That's uh, that's on uh, Junction 19, by the way. Right, so we will... Uh, uh, let's head out. I think we'll head outside first. Makes no sense. I uh, see, these guys are a bit easy to hit with. Just stab them. Effective. Nice and simple. You know, no, no petrification worries. Ugh, bit like that. that is hideous. Artie Medusa went on vacation and got tucked into the all you can eat buffet and forgot to go back home that night. Hideous. No mercy here at all. Yeah, there. That didn't take it down. Yeah, interesting. I thought they, I thought they would get stunned by that. Oh no, don't go. Oh, wouldn't get stunned by the, the jump slash, would it, Shadow? Come on. It's the uh, it's the third attack. It's um, this one, this one. I'm getting confused between the two here. Yeah. Gotta level up for the do sack, which ain't bad. I mean, that's the thing as well, is that if you are using like the uh, the uh, Sham Shear or the uh, Platinum Sock, or not Platinum Sock, the. Um, the uh, what should we call it? The. Um, Crystal Brassard, if you pull either of those from the train, they, their levels would just skyrocket because they uh, get a lot of experience on this location. Lots of experience. I mean, these we for the weapons we've got at the moment are doing alright. And these weapons are probably better than what you should have. For, well, not, not necessarily better than you should have, but they're probably a, a, a little above average now. They certainly were towards the end of Balance Pass, and they were um, certainly um, above average. They're probably about ish right. Maybe a little bit over still, but um, you know, that's just part of the game, really. Ow! I hate those freaking slapping attacks that these elements do, because they, they, they do hit you more than once sometimes. You know, and it does a lot of damage very quickly. If you're not paying attention. I think that's all the bread that we can be carrying. So we'll head back down. So where the hell is this that Shingala thing then anyways, folks? I mean, uh, that's why we're here. We're, we're, we're not here to try and save the world, moment. We're just here to try and find out where that bloody thing ran off to and why. It came down here. It seemed well, it did come down here. We saw it come down this area first. We don't know why. We don't know what it was. We don't know what it was doing. All we know is that Pow is going to be a very angry lad when he comes back home with his kill all medicine. We didn't even get round to, to ask him about, to even suggesting Dr. Dell, didn't we, folks? You know, the, the miracle healer. Um, you know, we didn't even get round to that. And then, you know, Power runs off. Look after him for a while and gone. Goodbye. Angry Monica. Which is quite a worrying sight. Um, and then, um, you know, and then the Shingala just gets up and F's off. I don't even know what on earth's going on, folks. I don't even know what it's about. So what on earth would it come down to this cave anyway? That's what I don't get. Um, I don't see what business it's got down here. You know, 
Uh, I mean, you know, unless it's unless it's flock of friends I'm heading down here or something. That might be possible. I don't know. So it, it, it uh, must be more of them got separated, but uh, who knows? Ah, uh, no, no, that folks. No enemies. Just one treasure chest left. I'm sure you know how this works. Oh god, it's a king! Oh god, it's a king! Bloody hell. No, I didn't want that. We know all the damage these can cause. We've seen that before. I'm gonna get a... Uh... Look at that! That's not even worked. Oh, of course, now you can actually guard as well with the sword as well, which is quite cool. Cross fake, but yeah, hit and run. Take advantage of the fact that you can attack and move at the same speed um, with the ride pod. With, it's really useful. I mean, you can't do that with anyone else. It's sort of hitting and running like that. So make good use of it. But those things, we know they're dangerous. We've been down that route before, so... Let's not screw around with them, shall we? Talk about a guardian of the, guardian of the door, eh? Another area, folks. I wonder how long it'll be until we find out where on earth the Shingala's gone and, and why. Uh, well, nothing we can do, folks, except carry on, I guess. Although, you do notice here, folks, that this is now the first area where there is no fishing and that Sphere has now become available, if you notice, folks. And that's then marked where you see how the, the maps and the pictures there are a little bit different. So this is now starting to take on a slightly different area, folks, now. Oh, no, not these things again. Great, these things are back. Isn't that just wonderful? Ow! Has that got a snorkel on it? It's got a snorkel on! What is that? A snorkel! Well, I thought I, I, I thought seeing a rat in pants was bad. Man, this place is getting weirder at the moment. A snorkel, folks. I don't really. This commentator is not quite sure how to how to um, how to address that. Really, he's just not really sure. Uh, this is the new healing point for you folks, uh, which is actually really quite cool. It's a little shriny thing. I think that's really cool. More statues. They're still around here. Stone guardians to. I don't know what they're protecting, but something. Something important, apparently. Go on, can we make it free and free? No, we can't. Of course we can't. We're not that good. Oh, is it? What, does this just end? Oh, it does. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but what you're trying to find out is now, obviously, that these areas have got more sphere in them. Um, basically, these are generally all more sort of underground now. Um, you don't really find any kind of the, um, the up, sort of the open areas. It's all, we're all you know, a bit deeper in now. It's all just underground. So, for better or worse. There we go, that's much better. Hello, we do need to fix this in two secs. Don't, don't you spit stuff at me! You know how rude that is! Shoot you in the face. No manners. Uh, see if 
ending these quickly. There is no for that's alright. Oh goodness me, right. Well it'll be interesting with at the end, we'll do this um we'll do this dungeon that'll probably that'll be interesting to have a crack with um and I'll show you the difference between doing Sphere in uh, in this stage because it is to say where we have been in Bounce Valley 3. What's the game trying to do? Oh, I'll well, take ABS bonus, it's fine. Ooh, it's not bad either. Oh god, it's Sand Molar City. It's Sand Molar City. Oh dear, this could get this could get nasty. Camera going a little bit funny there. We do apologise for that. Oh, this is going to prove this could get this could get really bad really quickly. There's loads of fear. Uh, oh, bit of luck there. Just started swinging a bit randomly, and he just happened to come up. Oh, there we go. That's all right. You're doing all right there, actually. We had problems with those when we first took those on back in the uh, the butterfly woods, so I'm pretty happy with that. Just an annoying tough enemy to try and deal with. Oh, there's our exit gate. Oh, really? You guys just don't learn, do you? Uh Keep me busy, I tell you. Just have another level. Oh dear. I do. I. 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 I admit it, folks. I appreciate the humor. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, Max, really? Come on, you got to be hitting the guy. Make me look bad now. And he just charged straight into that. What a... Is that we all over the place here? We are getting... Yeah, getting very busy here. It's not a very big area, actually, but... It's just kind of condensed all the enemies into just one small area. Get that sometimes. I tell you what's going to be might be a bit easier here. Bring Steve out. Bit of chop suey action. That and that. Did you just see the damage that that did? Two hundred. That is some serious da damage right there. Oh, pretty please. And cherries on top. Oh, you see that he duck underneath. You gotta come up eventually. We got that in the end. I'm not worried about taking a little bit of damage from those guys. Not while I'm in this. This has got this has got really good defense. We've got more shield kits on this than probably we should have. How does it glide so happily in in water? Find some roller skates, they can just do that. Okay. I don't know if this could break the um, the stones here though. You know like how with the, the, the iron foot, these could just like um, kick the stones um, and stuff like that and just break them? I don't know if these can do that. I'm not actually sure. Oh, one of these, one of these aren't what they see. No, you can't anymore, folks. You can't um, can't break stones while um, with these. There we go. What on earth? It, it, it's some. It is some. Uh, some machination, isn't it, really, folks? I'm actually going to play spear though, because I want to put this chest here. Then we will see what we've got to do and where we've got to go and do it. And 
Well, I don't know whether it's because I spent so many hours off screen doing so many games as theater to, uh, to get everything that we could at this point, but that is just a little bit generous, folks. Just a little bit generous. I will take it. It makes my life easier. But, wow. How about that, folks? Well, it doesn't matter if we've only got one shot. If you miss this, then you need to find another sport. Um, so, yeah, folks. So, you'll see here. I'll show you the differences with some of these clubs, actually. There is a, there is a difference between, like, the ones, like, with different distance ranges. So, we've got, like, this, the, uh, the swan here. So, if we go to this... You've seen this one before, what it's like. So if we now come out of this, folks, and say we put on the uh, the flamingo, you'll see you'll see how we can actually hit it a bit further. Power shot. This has actually got a bit more range on it, interestingly enough. Um, and again, you can play around with like the spin and that um, on these, and it's just I think it's just maybe a bit more sensitive sort of thing. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'll have to play with that. But the putter, what you'll find with this is its, mu its power distance is a lot, is a bit less, folks. But um, when we do go and use it, um, oh, oh I was expecting something a bit different than that. That's, weird. That's not what I was expecting to see, actually. I was expecting because oh, I, I think there is a difference, you know, with the um, the, the bars you've got, to get the slider in. I think there is a difference in length in some of those, and we kind of want to try and get one that's a bit longer, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, not quite sure, folks. I, I need to look up what the if there is much of a difference between the clubs, because I I, I, I kind of don't know. Um, I, I, as, as It might be kind of obviously apparent from what I just said a moment ago, but uh, I'm not really sure. I've never really been sure, actually. Um, unless anyone here knows much, I, 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 I don't really know. No, folks. I'll, I'll look that up at some point soon, I'm sure. But anyways, let's put in the, uh, the Lunar Stone here so we can proceed at this stage. Um, and yeah, two stamina drinks is the reward, which, which is fine. They're handy in, in a pinch. Still more stages to go. Where the hell are we? How far have we got to go, folks, before we can do anything? I, I really don't know. But, uh, but never mind. I'm going to save the game because I might as well. Um, so I'll say that. Look, look at the difference in time, folks. So I actually was looking at file three is at. Oh, sorry if there's a. I just hit a cable. There, sorry. Um, file three was back in chapter two. I don't know. Obviously, I didn't bother saving much in the last session, but I don't really remember the last session very much. So, um, I, I don't really know, but uh, never mind, folks. Anyways, uh, next time, well, well, we'll carry on through here a little bit more. But, I mean, if we don't find what we're looking for soon, I might I might decide to actually come out and start playing around with the, uh, the Giorama. Uh, you know, we've done, like, two, three videos of this already. Um, so, I don't want to do too many more stages in one go. Um, so, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is we'll carry on a little bit further on folks and if you don't find what we're looking for by here uh, I'm going to come out and I think we're going to play on the GRM and just do some other bits and pieces oh I might even go back to uh, to Palm Brinks actually to show the fishing contest because I didn't do that last session so I might do that as well but uh, who knows we'll have to see how we go so I'll uh, thank you guys very much for watching and we will be proceeding onwards into the bat den next time because that sounds really scary See you next time.